2019. And what does that mean? It's time to start making off-season videos. All right, so, hey. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Shaka Antoine. And in today's video, it's going to be Magic Swimmer Modifications. What can I say about the Magic Swimmer? Phenomenal plug. I mean, this plug here, man, it's a very large bait. It's about nine inches, and this one weighs about four and a half ounces. And if you stay tuned, we're gonna change all of that. But it uh, goes a with that theory, you know, big fish like big baits, and the Magic Swimmer just does a great job at mimicking big baits. Okay, the Magic Swimmer is a must-have plug to fish the canal, especially when uh, the mackerel and the herring or bunker is swimming through the canal. You want to have one of these, the Magic Swimmer. Rather, you have the um, all-white or the mackerel pattern. Such a beautiful pattern. I love this one. It's just one of those plugs um, I don't think anyone should fish the canal without. All right, uh, and in a little bit here, we're gonna talk a little bit about um, um, my success with uh, the Magic Swimmer in 2018. My first canal fish uh, was definitely a lovely welcome back. So why don't we watch that video? Nothing like that first canal fish. 28 pounds. What a lovely release of uh, your, my first canal fish. And I realize it's important to do that. In fact, I love releasing my first fish of the season, rather if it's here on Long Island or on the canal. Nothing wrong with releasing them. Also, nothing wrong with keeping them. But if you don't need them, release them. Okay, let's move along. Um, speaking of first, uh, my first 30 pound fish on the canal this season was caught with nothing else uh, other than the magic swimmer the mackerel pattern again you know hey that fish was, uh, basically smashed it put up a serious fight uh, when I got it close to the rocks man this thing just kept death rolling um, that's why the fish looks um, as beat up as it does on the side she lost a couple of scales but I was able to revive her and uh, give her a nice clean release. release. Um, she swam away great. Okay, so moving on, um, you know, uh, I was able to catch some utter tanks, cows, and pigs uh, this season with uh, the Magic Swimmer. Uh, primarily, you know, with this, this uh, macro pattern, which I'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, I also caught my personal best fish um, with the Magic Swimmer and several others um, in the dark, which is worth noting. Catching fish in the dark with the Magic Swimmer um, was a first time for me in 2018. Uh, I had been trying to do that for a couple of seasons and just for whatever reason, I was not able to, to do it. Um, however, in 2018, I was able to get it done. Something else um, that I would like to talk about uh, relates to the Magic Swimmer is the macro pattern versus the Ghost Descent or the White. And that's these two here. Um, in 2017, man, I'm telling you, if you did not have an all white Ghost Descent uh, Magic Swimmer, you know, for whatever reason, you just were not catching. These fish were keyed in on that pattern, and they that's all they wanted, nothing else. Um, that was 2017. Uh, however, 2018, it just seemed to be the opposite. Um, I, I caught maybe one or two uh, with the all-white, but they really wanted this macro pattern in uh, 2018. 
Um, just like many things with striped bass and bluefish also, uh, I equate many of that uh, anomalies like that to bait. Now in 2017, if you remember, man, the canal was loaded with mackerel. So if it's loaded with mackerel, why wasn't why weren't they keyed in on the mackerel patterns as much? They were keyed in on the white. Um, versus in 2018, there wasn't as much mackerel around. But what I did notice, um, I did see quite a bit of herring. I didn't see too much mackerel. Um, and again, they mackerel the herring was around, and they were keyed in on the mackerel pattern. I don't know, perhaps the all white gives them the impression that the magic swimmer is, is macro. Um, we'll never know. Fish do what they want, right? Okay, now, moving along to um, the next topic, which is going to be standard modifications. Now, the standard modifications for the magic swimmer uh, first, they include stronger hooks. Um, you know, these hooks that come on the Magic Swimmer, they're pretty beefy, you know. Uh, they're almost the same size as uh, 3 out VMCs. Just a, a, a difference in the thickness of it. That, that might be the issue that some have with them. Um, I have yet to find any issues with uh, the stock um, hooks that come on the magic swimmer you know I had an acquaintance that basically told me you need to change these hooks if you get a big fish on them they're gonna um, they're gonna they're gonna bend them straighten them whatever uh, uh, the biggest fish that I caught on the stock hooks was um, I believe that was a 33 pound fish in uh, 2017 and that season, you know, I had no issues at all uh, with the hooks. I mean, eventually, I did change them, and that's only because they got rusted out. And you don't want to be catching big fish on rusted hooks, so I changed it. You know, what I what did I change it to? I went and upgraded to the four rod VMCs. That is what I like to use, um, and I also I leave. This here on the end, the blade. I don't know if that's going to come out too good in the camera. I leave the blade on the end of uh, my Magic Swimmers. Um, I like to have something on the end of a plug to to give it some action. Um, several times I'm fishing next to you know a couple uh, next to guys that um, either had flags or nothing at all on the end of their plugs, the end of their magic swimmers, and I left my blades on there, and you know, I was the only one that got it hit or hooked up. Um, <clears throat> now I equate that to several things. Uh, number one, again, as I mentioned, that that blade on the end will give it some, some, um, some action, you know. Uh, this one here is painted in that ghost descent, the UV paint, so this one um, will actually glow in the dark and it also it will glow during the daytime wherever this there's UV light present and it hits this you will see a pattern that uh, that will come up and I believe that in the daytime that also glows so that's visual for the fish you know they visually see that if they don't see the plug you know they'll see that um, that UV um, pattern that's on the the white magic swimmer and that will make them interested if they see it um, the other thing um, the mackerel pattern doesn't have that UV anything UV reactive paint on it um, what it is it, it is um, flashy it's it's metal so with the, that you know the visual stimulant will be this would be flashing because it spins as uh, the plug swims so they'll see that, that that's, they'll see that flash and come and investigate several times. Um, which I'll, I'll bring this topic up on the next one. The other reason why I leave the <clears throat> the um, the blade on the end of my magic swimmers is just by design. It is a blade, so it does 
have a sort of uh, vibration in the water, you know, that doesn't like, but there, it does cause a disturbance um, when it is swimming. And of course, you know, striped bass, they feel that through their lateral line. So they feel that and they say, we want to come investigate plenty of times. Um, I've been fishing and I, I would see um, both large and small fish rush up to the magic swimmer, rush up to the tail and then turn away. Now, to me, I equate that to the blade. They felt that blade. They felt the vibration that the blade causes. And they came in and investigated. When they saw it, oh, wait, that's not a fish. They turn away. Several. I've, I've seen several fish do that. Uh, there was one occasion wherein I, I saw there was about five of them following it. So I decided to um, stop retrieving. I paused it. I mean, if you know, when you pause the magic swimmer, it turns around. So what I did, I stopped it. It, it did like this little turnaround thing and I started cranking right away then a fish came up poof, hit it <laughs> now, that's a reaction strike so if you're able to see that then that's a good time to uh, to stop it real quick if you see a bunch of fish following it stop it real quick let it pause let it turn around and then retrieve it again they'll come right up to it um, but again I believe that that type of strike or that, that type of investigative look at the magic swimmer is due to the blade. You may disagree. Hey, if you disagree with that, no problem. Just let me know in the comments below what your opinion is about it. I'm sure there are plenty, plenty of opinions about that versus a blade versus a flag versus nothing on the end of the magic swimmer. All right, moving along to the next area, that um, next standard area of upgrading for the magic swimmer. Uh, would be the split rings um, again now these split rings here are beefy as far as I'm concerned I don't know the test of them but looking at them you know they they, they, they look pretty beefy so again if it's if this if I have no issue with the plug or one of the features of the plug then I'm leaving it alone until an issue arises and the split rings uh, both on the, on the belly hooks and in the front. I have found no issues with them. I haven't had any fish straighten them out, so I'm not going to change them. But now that split ring that's on the eye of the plug, all right, I really feel that that aids in the action of the Magic Swimmer. The Magic Swimmer has this very seductive, almost sexy, S turn, uh, S pattern action to it, and I believe that that split ring at the beginning, at the, at the eye of the plug, aids in that. I have fished and have seen others um, fishing the magic swimmer without that, and you know it just doesn't have the same action. You know, it's very similar. Why some people put a uh, lead or well, you can say put um, split rings on their daughters to give it a little extra action. Same effect. All right, so I leave mine on. The test seems pretty, pretty, uh, pretty high. I don't know what the test is, but just looking at the thickness of the ring, it that I'm, I'm, I'm sure that test is uh, pretty high. So I haven't had any issues. I leave it on there, and that's on the front. Moving right along to the next area we're going to talk about, um, which will be. Uh, the modifications that I would make will be making to the Maddox Swimmer in 2019. And those modifications are going to include loading with water. Uh, loading plugs is a regular practice here on Long Island. And um, I know some guys load um, red fins in Rhode Island and also in Connecticut. I don't really see too many people loading plugs uh, for the canal, for fishing on the canal. Um, if there are any plugs that uh, you know of, people load uh, to fish the canal, let me know in the comments below. Um, but for now, I'm making this video. I had the idea to, to load the Magic Swimmer to basically suit a need. Uh, most of you know, current on the canal can reach upwards of uh, five knots. Now, that's very fast, uh, which is why um, the Magic Swimmer is so heavy at four and a half ounces. Um, however, I find that there's a section of the tide 
um, where the current is running a certain time of year, even the magic swimmer will get swept away. Uh, there is an angle that once it gets to that angle, you if you know, you know, man, that's when the magic swimmer shines. So it's a very small window. As uh, my friend Bill likes to say, it's an intersection. There is an intersection that, man, if you get it right, uh, that's when those fish like to hit the magic swimmer. But given, you know, for whatever reason, if you're um, fishing a certain time or a certain place within that tide when that current is ripping, not even the magic swimmer can be effective. So uh, that's a problem. I want to be able to fish the magic swimmer longer to... Um, solve that issue uh, I'm loading it this way I'll be able to fish it longer and I'm hoping that I'll be able to continue um, catching and outfish uh, other magic swimmers that are not loaded the areas of the magic swimmer that I plan on loading as you know it is a sectioned plug um, I'm gonna put water in all three sections. The majority of it will go in, in the first section. I'll put less in the, in the second and even less in the third. And the reason for that is because the Max Swimmer has weights, obviously. And I was able to look at the arrangement of the weights uh, through that one that's right up there. I decided that I would. Uh, distribute the water evenly okay so why don't we get started with uh, the modifications of the magic swimmer all right well to get started uh, the drill bit that I use a, was a 1 in 1 16th very small just small enough to make a hole and in order for me to get the syringe inside of the plug Definitely don't want to make a big hole, but of course I had to uh, make a very small hole. I wanted to make the hole uh, not on the very top, but just off center. Uh, just enough so that when I do um, add water, I don't have a hole on the side and then water leaking out of the side. So I wanted to keep the hole uh, near the top. Now comes loading the magic swimmer with water. Uh, I'm just basically eyeballing how much water I'm putting in there. Uh, what I wanted to do was to just add enough water and keep an eye on the hole to make sure that there's no water leaking out. I don't want um, to fill the entire cavity with water because that uh, will be a very bad thing. If you have it filled with water and the, the plug hits a rock, it will explode. I have done that before. So I'm just making sure that uh, the water is not coming out of the hole. That's why I'm wiping it there. Now, this goop is what I would normally use to seal my plugs after I have loaded them. Um, however, uh, this one here that I have is about maybe a year to two years old and it's gotten hard on the inside so I couldn't use it anymore. There must be some sort of shelf life. Um, so I had to stop recording, go out to the store and get this new stuff. It's called Loctite Marine. It's supposed to be good on hulls of bolts so it should be good for uh, lures, right? This Loctite Marine is very different. Um, it has a much higher viscosity. As you can see, I'm having trouble getting it out of the bottle. Um, it is also white and it's kind of pasty. The goop um, that I'm used to is transparent and it's very easily applied. I can usually manipulate it over the holes very easily. This stuff is um, rather thick and pasty.
I had to find something to work it over the hole and make it smooth. So this crayon seemed to be the, uh, the right thing to do at the time. Well, that one's complete. I ended up doing the very same thing on the macro padding and look what's left behind. That white pasty uh, stuff. I'll have to cover that. Here's a look at the UV reactive paint that I will need to cover up with mask and tape uh, before I decide to start painting. All right, as you can see, the um, UV reactive paint has been taped off on the Magic Swimmer because I want to keep or preserve that for when I paint it so that that will still show through so the fish can see it. You know, they love that. All right, so let's just get started with painting. Now this paint is fast drying so I should be able to paint it and put the hooks on pretty quick. Looks like I got it off. Still seeing some little areas. That looks good. All right, well, I'm gonna. Not good. sit all right it's all done painting everything is all covered up and the only thing left to do now is to remove the masking tape and the magic swimmers are now completed uh, this is how they look next to each other that one that first one there is a magic swimmer right out of the packet as you can see, that's a very white, bright white. And that's the painted uh, and loaded Magic Swimmer. I think that color is a much more natural white, as you can see the comparison between them. Just a couple of shades darker, more like bone. Just think about how um, the bone spooks work. Eventually, I'll paint over that adhesive to blend it in. And here is a look at the finished product under the UV light. I'm very pleased with how this came out. I can clearly see the UV reactive paint. And I'm hoping that the fish will see it and like it as well. I mean, look at that. As far as I'm concerned, this is mission accomplished.
Well guys, hey, that's the end of this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, the modifications that I've made to the Magic Swimmer for 2019 season on the canal. Hope to see you guys out there. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Remember to have a great day and God bless.